What's going on guys? Alex served at 14 EDC and today I have a quick um, sort of unboxing to do for you guys today. Uh, this is Monday, so happy Monday to you guys. Uh, this unboxing I got in on, I think it was late Friday night, um, but this busy, this weekend, excuse me, I was super busy. Uh, I golfed every day this weekend and I just didn't have time to sit down and do a proper unboxing. Uh, but I did take these out of the packaging because it was a bubble mailer, like super, these were super, super shoved in there. Uh, and it was like conformed around the boxes. Uh, so I just cut that off and then these have been chilling in my, uh, knife case area. Uh, so now I'm doing them, you know, more or less a quote unquote unboxing for you guys. Uh, the package came in from Work Knife Balance, so I will leave a link to him down below in the description. And these are coming in via the Lefty Passaround Group. Uh, it is a newer Kershaw and a newer Rosecraft uh, blade slip joint. Uh, you guys can see behind me, I am filming now in our guest bedroom. Uh, we got a desk via Facebook. I think my last video, which I did on Friday, I think. Friday? No, Thursday. Thursday, uh, I went, I think and I, I mentioned during the video uh, that I was going after the video was done to run a few errands and to possibly pick up this desk on Facebook uh, while everything went well. And now I have a really nice desk here in the guest bedroom. Uh, I have my TV and PlayStation in here, uh, kind of like my little filming setup, my laptop and all that. So I'm really excited for it. Uh, might get some extra lights in here. I do have a lamp. Unfortunately, our apartment does not come with any overhead lights, uh, so we rely on, well, excuse me, overhead lights in the bedrooms. Uh, so I have a lamp here, and then you guys can see I have this window right here. I might get something else going on so like I can film when it's nighttime, and uh, I don't really need to rely on the sunlight as much, but hopefully it looks okay for you guys. So that combined with my new phone, uh, hopefully the, you know, the, the video quality should be a little bit better. Uh, but let's jump right into this. So let's look at the Rosecraft blade first. Uh, this is the Beaver Creek Barlow and Smoky Gray. You guys can see right there. Um, this is the third slip joint that I've had in so far. So I had in, oh, let me see here. I actually have my, thing, my uh, YouTube pulled up. Uh, my first one was the Briar Patch Jack that had the two different blades on it. I wasn't, you know, super, super impressed with that one specifically. I just wasn't a big fan of the double blade, um, you know, sort of style. Uh, and then this one I have in right now, which is the Nola, Nola Chucky Jack. Um, and I like this one a lot more. I like that blade shape and everything like that. Uh, you guys will probably be seeing a full review on this later this week. I have I'm getting like pretty full with loners and I need to knock out a couple of reviews. Uh, so this might be a full week, hopefully for you guys. Now this is the uh, Beaver Creek Barlow, which I think is my favorite design of the three so far that I've checked out. I have kind of become a big fan of Barlow style blades. And it comes in the smoky gray pattern. You guys can see right there on the bolster is Rosecraft, which is new for them. Uh, you can see that smoky gray poking out of there. Same thing on the back, just without the um, Rosecraft emblem. You guys can see this blade sticking out of there. Now, this is the style of blade that I love because I know before um, on videos to you guys that I've done uh, with slip joints, I have complained about the stupid nail nick um, and how I just, it hurts my nail a little bit too much. It feels like my nail's been ripped off and I much prefer slip joints with enough blade that you can just pull like this and pop off. Um, and that right there is a beautiful blade shape. Um, it's a Barlow style blade, almost a, you know, Warncliffe sheep's foot style. Um, just a beautiful, very utilitarian looking blade. Uh, D2 steel, of course, that is what Rosecraft primarily uses. Um, it's a smaller knife. I think this is the smallest I've handled from Rosecraft as far as slip joints go. Um, but it's a nice little size. This is probably like a 2.75 inch blade, maybe uh, just under three inches. Of course, I'll do all my full specs for my full review and everything like that. But yeah, really nice. Nice walk and talk. Half stop. Um, definitely not, you know, nothing comparable to like my Jack Wolf or some of the higher end slip joints that I've handled. Um, but for the price tag, which I'm sure this is like 55 or 60 bucks, uh, this is pretty nice. I definitely 
think that they're a good bang for your buck value. Uh, and that overall design is beautiful. Um, and that's coming from someone that isn't a huge traditional or a huge slip joint fan. Um, this one definitely looks good. And uh, I think this one might be the best, uh, you know, reviewed one so far. So be on the lookout for that full review. That is the Rosecraft Beavercraft, no, Rosecraft Blades Beaver Creek Barlow. And then over here, we have a Kershaw Heist. Um, and this is a upgraded version with G10 and I believe S35VN. Uh, their normal heist, which has the Duralock uh, system on it. I believe the normal heist has like an FRN plastic handle and a D2, I think. I don't think they have 14C. Uh, I, I believe Kershaw in their line uses D2. Here is the knife. Nice pop of color there on the pivot. Duralock right there, has some nice texturing on the G10. You can already see it is uh, lefty and righty carry for the loop over style deep carry clip that Kershaw uses, um, which is pretty much a given with an ambidextrous lock like the Duralock. Uh, dual thumb studs, you guys can see right there, uh, S35VN. And then pop it out. Nice blade shape. I'm a big fan of the blade shape. It's a drop point uh, with a little bit of kind of a spear mixed in. And of course, you have this beautiful swedge building up top there. Kershaw. Uh, it's a very handsome looking knife. I can get all four fingers on here very, very comfortably. Um, it's literally like a perfect fit for my hand. You have a nice bridge right there for a natural restriction point. A um, little bit of a ramp right there for your thumb and very, very comfortable, locks in. And you can, of course, uh, slide up onto the landing area here for a choil, very, very comfortable. A Little bit of blade play, but not bad. We'll see how the ooh, action, very, very good. Reverse slick, works very nicely. It's very lightweight. Um, there are no internal milling, uh, you know, pat, uh, holes or anything like that, but it's very, very lightweight. I'll be intrigued to Get on and do my you know research on this knife and see what this weighs because this there's no way this can weigh more than three ounces um, blade is coming in probably a little over three inches uh, and overall it's a really solid size i'm a big fan of the size ergos everything like that um, choked up great action again there is a smidgen of blade play but nothing bad at all uh, and you guys can see just get that smooth uh, of course it's on bearings and uh, Kershaw has really, you know, ever since they came out with the Duralock system, uh, they really have almost per perfected it. Uh, I think this is now, so I've handled this one. I've handled the, the Bel Air. And there might have been one more. Um, I've at least handled a couple models with the Duralock system. Uh, and I think this comes in like right around 75 bucks with the uh, G10 and S35VN, which... Overall, it's a pretty good package. I'll definitely have to check into that to see if I was right with that assumption. But if it's coming in around 75 bucks for, again, S35, S35VN, excuse me, G10, um, a great action, fun to fidget with. I mean, I could sit here and do this all day. Uh, that's a great value. So um, that is the Kershaw Heist. Cannot wait to get that in pocket, as well as the Rosecraft Blades Beaver Creek Barlow. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my unboxing. Uh, pretty excited to get these two in. And like I said, you guys should be seeing some full reviews coming up in the next couple of days. Uh, I have like three knives that I've had for a little bit of time. I need to get shipped out. Um, so again, hopefully this is a full week of reviews for you guys. It's been a little while since I've done that, but I'm finally getting settled in the apartment. Uh, we got the 4th of July coming up. It's a long weekend. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, two more days of work to get through and uh, then it's time to uh, relax with the family and uh, just hang out. So, uh, But leave a comment down below. Did you guys pick up the Beaver Creek Barlow. Uh, I knew this was a pretty popular release whenever it came out. And then did any of you guys pick up the upgraded S35VN slash G10 heist? Because uh, if so, I think this is a pretty good value and I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. So, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up now. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your morning, evening, day, night, whenever you're watching this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.